I am back on Route 66, a place of which I'm become pretty familiar with. I've done several videos on Route 66. Today I want to try to do something a little different, something that I, I haven't seen um, too much of. Stop along some Route 66, you know, towns that are that are ghost towns, but also go a little bit, you know, east or west or north or south of Route 66, a few miles each way and try to find some other communities that people don't talk about with Route 66. They're not really on Route 66, so it's not something that are, are, is widely talked about, but I've never been to them, so I wanna check them out, little dots on a map, and see if there's anything there. But Route 66 is a wonderful road trip. Like I said, I did a whole series of videos early on uh, when I started this channel, so I uh, hope you like what we're getting ready to do today, so let's get started. reasons I like making these videos is because sometimes I come to somewhere that's a dot on the map and I have no idea what it is. This is one of those as we start the day in uh, what is called Ontario. There's nothing here. It's a railroad crossing. We are very close to Pitcher, Oklahoma. We're going to actually pass through Pitcher today. And, um, but we're really close to a big heavy mining area. And the only thing I could find that this was a dot on a map in 1922, in a map, in a 1922 map, that I found online, and but I don't know much about it. Um, maybe it was just a railroad stop, maybe it was a small community associated with mining, um, but I don't know. But this is where we're starting the day here in Ontario, Oklahoma. Not much to see. Even though I've done a video about pitcher Oklahoma before I thought I would stop in and check check it out again just real briefly it's been two years since I've been here I it was the first ever ghost town video I ever made and, um, it, so it's kind of has a special place in my heart uh, for this channel but I know it's a special place in a lot of people's heart and um, and if you don't know much about it I'll put the link here to watch the video I did I went in real depth I'm not gonna do it again here uh, but coming back and checking it out a couple years later it's interesting they've moved the uh, gorilla that was the uh, mascot of the high school from where it was over to here they have a memorial now um, they have all these things that kind of explain uh, what's going on uh, in terms of the history of it and um, just kind of exp explains what has happened and how Pitcher became one of the biggest ghost towns in American history This is on the map where it says Potter was. Um, like Ontario, I'm not sure of anything about Potter. And what I what I meant to say earlier, one of the fun things about going to these places and making videos is that be, when I can't find anything about it, sometimes you in the comments make comments and tell and educate me about what a place like Potter was. Um, I'm not sure what it was. I think a railroad used to go right along here. And and it might have been a railroad stop, but we're also right next to uh, Cardin and Douthit. I made videos about those towns back when I made the picture video, uh, so I'll put that video in here. Not that I'm trying to promote a bunch of other videos, but if you're interested in this town or in this area and about the history of what happened here with all the contamination um, and all the, the mining that happened, so uh, you, can, you can watch that. same map in 1922 that Ontario was on um, Lincolnville there are there are some actually homes here though so it is a still it is still a, a community it's it's a little bit east of uh, Quapaw and so it's not part of the pitcher mining area uh, but yeah maybe somebody knows more about Lincolnville than I do We're 
on one of the original uh, parts of Route 66 here near Narcissa and you can see how narrow the road was and actually this was built before Route 66 it was built in 1921 or 1922 and it was a you know a, a road in the community and Route 66 used it and became you know part of Route 66 uh, for a while and then I think about 1937 is when uh, they kind of bypassed this so but you can see how narrow it is you can see even though the current road is a little bit wider you can see the original nine foot wide road uh, it's pretty interesting that that it's still you can kind of still see it and still drive on it today our next town is actually on Route 66. I know some of you probably were hoping to see more Route 66 stuff, but this is actually on Route 66. This is Narcissa, and I'm inside the vehicle because it's gotten very windy, and Route 66 is still a very busy road, so there's cars passing all the time, so standing out by the road and talking isn't always the um, best thing for a recording, so especially with the wind and all that today. Narcissa was named after the daughter of an early uh family that lived in this area. Uh, kind of an unusual name, but it is was they named their daughter Narcissa. Um, and and uh, a little settlement here. They had a store, they had a couple things, and then a railroad was built in right around 1900, 1901. And the town uh, had a post office shortly thereafter. And then when Route 66 was built, that's really helped the town grow. And, uh, you know, several hundred people and then in 1957, they built a highway that bypassed Route 66 in this area, and that's when the town started to go down. There are a uh, couple things to see here. There's an abandoned garage that will take you through. Uh, it's a really, probably the main thing to see here. And there's a couple other things. There's a place where there was a gas station um, and um, not too much else. There are some people that do live in this area, but definitely uh, a good place to stop that probably doesn't get a lot of attention that the traditional kind of route 66 um, enthusiasts are always pointing out I'm here in a, a little bit east of Route 66 in a little dot on the map that says uh, Oseuma, I think, O-S-E-U-M-A. Um, so I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I wasn't quite sure if I'd come over here. I didn't think I'd find anything, but, um, but then I saw that there might be a school near here, an old school. Um, and then at the intersection there, there's an old building kind of right at the intersection. Um, so we'll check out right here and then I believe down that dirt road uh, just a little bit there there may be a an old school house we'll go check it out so just down the road here uh, found the school and it's about a half mile down on the right and uh, this school was was built by the WPA and usually they built big school buildings and this is a very small one this is uh, this was 34 feet by 18 feet so obviously it's a rural school out here in this community and uh, but it's pretty cool it's a uh, basically a in a pasture and the cows are the only uh, thing that are kind of residing near it anymore but uh, pretty cool to 
to see this little piece of history and way out here, kind of, kind of off Route 66, but not too far off Route 66. White Oak is probably similar to Narcissa in size and history. I remember when I came through here, I remember this uh, mill behind me, the sawmill with White Oak on the side, and uh, kind of kind of stood out here right along Route 66. Um, so I, I do remember that. And there's a few other things to see here in White Oak, and it had a post office until uh, 1957, so kind of like the, uh, um, the Narcissa. So the, the highway that bypassed it ended up, um, you know, hurting its, starting its demise. And there's a, but there are a few things to see here. We'll, we'll go through town and show you. And, and obviously the sawmill here is pretty awesome too. I wasn't able to go to as many places as I wanted on this trip, and um, but this last little spot here, this is the Lewis Shawnee Native American Cemetery. I thought this would be an appropriate place to end. There were some really cool headstones here, very artistic and very peaceful place. It's just a little bit you know, west of White Oak. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to pick it up and maybe from here move on west on Route 66 and show you some more places off the beaten path. So I am back on Route 66. I've done several videos about Route 66 and uh, it's kind of windy out today so I'm gonna go inside my car. It's getting a little bit chilly.